What is up guys? So today is a beautiful, wonderful day because Drew finally decided to what? Hit her with the purple power. Yeah. So the 32 officially sees sunlight for what? The first time since you got it. Yeah. yeah. And we got it in the dark. So yeah, you got it in the dark. <laughs> this thing has not seen. Exactly. This thing is probably the first time I've ever seen sunlight here. So this is cool. So we have like a month until our season starts. Today is March 1st and everything starts in April. And I'm pretty sure that's the next month. So uh, I think Drew realizes it's time to grind. Oh yeah. Time to put the motor back in, clutch. So I just painted the valve covers. We got most of his gaskets, so hopefully we can get most of his engine together today. And uh, Drew's gonna be cleaning up his trans and his car, getting it ready for the refreshed engine. Yeah, and we're gonna paint the bay. And we're gonna put it together the right way this time so we don't have to ever mess with it. Gonna get rid of the green paint. Dude, I like the green. Come A on. lot of people talk <laughs> negatively. About really? I think, I think it's got a lot of character. I like it. I don't know. Cool. So Drew's doing the whole Drew tube thing. Purple power. Can't show him. No, no, no. This is a secret blend. It's actually pretty clean. It's just like, for some reason, this RB leaked from every crevice it possibly had. So the frame rails and the subframe and everything is just covered, covered in oil, grease, dirt. And uh, Drew's going to get it right. So if any of you guys don't remember or are just new to the channel, uh, Drew got this R32 GTST uh, a couple months ago or right before the winter, I guess. And uh, he traded this S13 coupe for it. And as you can tell, it's two-toned, has a body kit on it. It's got like a bolt-in cage. The interior is half apart, but uh, it's a pretty cool car. It has a lot of character to it. And uh, when you got out, the whole engine compartment was just so, it was just hacked together. And there's a lot of things we needed to do to it to simplify it and to refresh it. And we figured the best way would just be to pull the engine and do it right from the beginning. We're not trying to go crazy with it. Drew just wants to do a nice budget friendly style of refresh, which I guess that's what we're doing. So car came with some eBay ass turbo on it and it ran like dog shit. So Drew got himself an RB25 stock turbo, which is kind of like an OEM upgrade for the RB20 and um, a new clutch and a bunch of gas. Yeah, we're trying to find the turbo, but we think it's in the trunk and it's stuck. Trunk is officially locked and this is how I'm going to open it. <laughs> Good luck. All right, this might be a minute. <laughs> okay, so it is officially time to start putting the RB20 back together, and it's Drew's lunch break. Yeah. What you, what you Chicken mean? Alfredo was microwave style. Drew always comes with a pack to lunch. Uh, every day, every single day. Talk already nice. So we tore it down to basically a long block, give or take, and uh, Drew and Brian painted the block. Thing looks pretty icy, and uh, we're not really gonna go too crazy in it. We're not gonna do the time belt and water pump. Um, both seem fine, both seem like they have plenty of life in it and uh, we're gonna save that money for other parts of the build. So what we got is just the typical simple stuff. We got both manifold gaskets, intake and exhaust. We got valve cover gaskets, we got a rear main seal. I just painted the valve covers a couple minutes ago. And uh, of course, all the stuff for the turbo. We're gonna start off throwing the valve covers back on and yeah, let's get started. Got the freshies. How you doing over there, Drew? Good. <laughs> Clean. Cleaning everything up. Drew does have a coil pack cover, which kind of sucks because it makes the engine look nice. But uh, so if anyone out there has a RB20 uh, coil pack cover, like the panel that goes here, DM me on Instagram because uh, I can't even find one to buy one. So next thing we're gonna throw on is something that's pretty cool, and that is Drew decided to ball on a really nice intake manifold for this thing because the stock one's really ugly. Drew got the new ISR like sheet metal style intake, which uh, makes the whole thing honestly look pretty badass. So, all right, so I was gonna put it on and I let Drew order one gasket and he orders the wrong gasket. It must be for an RB25 or something because the ports are the same. They're just way bigger. So I don't know what's going on here, but damn it. <laughs> we'll just, this'll be easy to put on. So we're just gonna, we're gonna make it look like we did something. <laughs> we're just gonna put this, just gonna slip her on right there. Yeah, there you go. Looks official. Hey, that looks so good. What the hell? Damn, that looks so good. This is good. Oh, I cannot wait to see this in the skyline. This is gonna look badass. But Drew's fishing out the turbo stuff from the trunk of his car, so we're gonna grab that, set it up, and put it on in just a second. Drew somehow got this out of the skyline. You wanna tell the kids what it is? 
Terpski, RB25 Terpski to be exact. And do the honors. She's gonna go right about. So I put the turbo on backwards? Wait. I totally put the turbo on backwards. Fuck. I put the turbo on upside down. Yeah. You. I moved it back around. I can't believe I did that, but we should be good to go now. It's a stock RB25 manifold, I believe. I could be wrong. It's being a bitch. Let me get the hammer. All right, so it's officially starting to look like an engine. Threw the injectors in real quick. I think these are uh, RB25 Neo injectors. Could be wrong, I don't know, Drew got them. Uh, they're probably Neo injectors, but since he went with the top feed rail, we now need a top feed injector, so we had to change them, which means we probably need an ECU for the car now. Drew's not gonna be happy about that, but it's all right, we'll get this car right, but looks good. So now we have to worry about the accessories. So we still need an alternator and a power steering pump. Since we deleted the Hikus system, we need a non hikus power steering pump from a RB25, from a 33, something like that. Got to do more research. And then um, then we also need an RB20 alternator or something that fits. Hey, B, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm happy here. I was I'm getting so fish and bored by myself with this thing. Well, I'm just hanging out now. So I was looking at it, and I think I can get an SR20 alternator to work. I think it would work fine. Let's just do it. I have an extra one for my old SR, so... Uh, and I had the pigtail for it, so we could just do it. I think we should just wrap the crank pulley in a bunch of copper wire and stick a magnet on the side. That, that's a good one. If you look at this thing, if we put it here. If we bottom it out right here, it lines up with the splines it's supposed to be lined up with. And then it's almost lines up with the tensioner. It's on the oh, low yeah. side. But I think oh. if we overlies the bracket on the tensioner, we could drop it down and make it work. So let's pull off the bracket, make some, make make some a spacer, and make an adjustment. Yeah, so okay, let's do the spacer first. So we need to put a spacer. Yeah, I like that. Right here. Get it bolted up, that way we can really tell where we yeah. are. Yeah, so let's get the caliber, measure this shit out, and see what we need. Right? Yeah. Cool. We got the Excaliburs. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so mad. I just said caliber. <laughs> Fuck. <All right. laughs> <laughs> I'm just so upset about that. <laughs> alright, it's alright. Everyone knows I can't fucking I'm chewing while vlogging, so it's cool. Alright, this is... Alright, we're measuring, we're measuring. 37 millimeters. That was a video where Jimmy burned his ball sack. And Brian forgot to film. <laughs> uh, oh well. So, uh, we're piecing together new hardware for it to make it fit. And, uh, yeah, I gotta find a spacer now. Oh boy. We have our new bolt. And this one we have for a spacer for now. It's a thick piece of aluminum. It's not my favorite, but that's all we can find in the shop, so this will get us going for now. We should honestly have no issues with it, but I want to replace it with a thicker piece of steel. Ah, per perfect length. So, with just that, it looks like the pulley is going to line up perfect. So this one actually has um, one more rib than the factory belt. That's fine. It's just going to look funny. But that lines up mint. So now we have to let this hole line up with this arch so we could have it as our tensioner. So we're gonna have to actually drop this whole arch down, probably like, what do you say, 10 mils? Yeah, well, let's see if we can get some play out of it. Yeah. Cool, loosen her up. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we might be able to just drill out the bottom or bring the bottom that, hole. That's what I was thinking in the first place. Yeah, I think it's Just gonna... take the bottom bolt out, but I, I really don't know if it'll give us what we need. It depends on how long that belt is really. Cool, let's do it. Some manual machining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Tighten them right there. Stick a bolt in it. We definitely we go. didn't have to ream <laughs> nearly that much. Just in case we get a, a, a really, really small alternator one day. I need to drill this hole now. Mm -hmm. More drilling. Oh. Right, so it's working pretty good right now. Uh, now we just basically. Now we just have to figure out what length belt we need because it's all different now. So I have my old SR belt that I basically just cut and we're gonna cut it to the right length and then go match it up in the store and buy the belt. We should be good to go. Cool. So. so we should probably pull it out so we have some tension to, to like get the belt on with. So we get a belt. Cool.
So I just went to AutoZone and matched up a belt and uh, hopefully it's the right size. It's kind of a pain in the ass process, but we'll see. Belt was 15 bucks and uh, if this whole process only costs us $15, it's a lot cheaper than buying a hundred something dollar alternator. So let's see it. Let's see if it works. There we go. Hell yeah. Yo, B, come check it out. Is that shit tight? That shit's tight. Nice. Oh, what the? Dude, that looks nice. Right? Pretty official. I was just doing some parkour. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that stuff, yeah. Well, I almost ripped the hell of flag off the wall. So it looks like an SR alternator will work. I don't know if the pigtail is different on the harness. It might not be, it probably is. We'll just splice the SR pigtail on there. Good to go, it's just two wires. And uh, 37 millimeter spacer. Yep. That's all it takes. All it takes. So, uh, cool, that is awesome. Um, Drew probably won't even realize that we did that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you watch the video. Yeah, maybe, so we'll see. But uh, when I was out, I got new plugs for it so we could throw these in officially. And then we could install the coil packs, which would be nice, get that over with. Um, one of the previous owners of the car, I don't know if it was in America or if it was in Japan, but they bought the uh, upgraded Spitfire coil packs for the thing, which is pretty cool. So better than stock coils because they always break and they're hard to get. So I'll take it. Nice little ignition upgrade. Featuring the old plugs. Jesus Christ. Holy crow, guys. Good thing we got to where we did. We're going to save you a little RV20. We're going to get you right. Drew won't even know what to do with you. Just floor it. <laughs> All right, it's been a, f a couple hours. We were hanging out, so I forgot where we left off, but. Coil packs are in, everything's good. The engine is almost ready to drop in. I have to do the oil lines for the turbo, um, and then we have to get the intake gasket, and I think it's ready to drop in once. And then I think it's ready to drop in, throw a clutch on it, get the trans on, go. I don't, I don't think we're gonna paint the, the bay. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what Drew wants to I do. Know. I didn't even see after he uh, pressure washed it. So, so it's, it, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's just it's just scratched up and stuff. I'd hate not to do it now, but I don't know if Drew wants to go that crazy with it because I, I don't know what his plans are with it, to tell you the truth. So I guess we that's to be determined, but I'm pretty stoked with it. Um, it looks pretty cool seeing this thing all together now. It's cleaned up. Yeah. Not too crazy, just we am refreshing, resealed, not gonna just leak gonna work yeah at least not gonna leak much probably <laughs> so it's still an rb but cool um progress is made on the 32 it's about time i'm stoked let's get this car back on the road running having a good time cruising together as you guys know so that's it we're gonna end it so you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content B? I'm cold hearted and broke, I cold started and choke, I grow part with my soul, the vote harder to grow, I know what, hey, I know what, hey, yeah, I'm cold hearted and broke, I cold started and